welcome back to Mindful Soul Stream, a space of self-discovery and healing. Today, we're stepping into a journey that invites us to look deeper, to connect with the parts of ourselves that often go unseen, the parts that we might hide, deny, or even feel uncomfortable with. Today, we're opening a sacred circle for understanding and embracing the shadow self with the intention of honoring, respecting, and accepting these often overlooked aspects of ourselves. Let's begin by finding a comfortable position, allowing yourself to relax into this moment. If it feels right, Gently close your eyes and take a deep breath in, filling your lungs fully, and then slowly release. Begin to let go of any tension and any tightness. Feel yourself beginning to settle, becoming present in the here and the now. With each breath, imagine a warm, grounding energy flowing up from the earth, supporting you, anchoring you. Let this energy move through your body, releasing any heaviness any distractions from the outside world. Feel it washing over you, bringing you fully into this moment of peace. Now, picture yourself surrounded by a soft light, a light that creates a circle around you offering safety, warmth, and acceptance. This light represents our sacred circle, a space where you are free to explore and embrace every part of yourself without judgment and without resistance. As you breathe, allow yourself to set an intention for this time together. This intention may be a gentle openness, a willingness to see the hidden parts of yourself, or simply an acceptance of whatever arises. Know that today, We're journeying towards self-acceptance, choosing to honor the aspects of ourselves that we often ignore. By holding space for these parts, we allow healing and growth to take root, inviting wholeness and compassion into our journey. Take a few more deep breaths, breathing in peace and breathing out any resistance. You are grounded, you are safe and You are ready to begin this journey. The sacred circle is now open. Together, let's explore the shadow self, remembering that each step we take brings us closer to our true whole selves. As we begin today's episode, 
let's set a meaningful intention together to explore the shadow self with openness and compassion. This journey into the shadow is not about judging or fixing any parts of ourselves. Instead, it's about understanding why this hidden aspect of ourselves plays such an important role in our healing journey and how by acknowledging, honoring, and accepting it, we invite true transformation. Now the shadow self holds qualities, patterns, and emotions that we may have suppressed or rejected over time. Qualities that we might see as less desirable or even parts of ourselves that we are reluctant to face. Yet, when we bring awareness and acceptance to these hidden aspects, we discover that the shadow can be a powerful teacher, offering us insights, healing, and balance. Today, we'll look at how to meet that shadow self without fear, to see that it is not a flaw or a weakness. It is an essential part of our wholeness. We'll explore how acknowledging these shadows leads to self-compassion and opens a pathway for growth, allowing us to integrate these aspects into our lives in a healthy and empowering way. So, as we move forward, let's keep this intention at heart to approach our shadow selves with respect, curiosity, and compassion, knowing that each part of us is valuable and each step that we take towards acceptance brings us closer to inner harmony and authenticity. To understand the shadow self, we first need to recognize that it's not something outside of us or inherently negative. The shadow self represents parts of us that we may suppress deny, or reject. These can be behaviors, emotions, or even personality traits that we've deemed unacceptable or that others may have judged in us. Often, these parts of ourselves have been hidden away, consciously or unconsciously in order to avoid discomfort and vulnerability. Now remember that the shadow self isn't something that is bad. It is not something that should be feared. Rather, it's a collection of aspects that we simply haven't fully embraced. In many ways, our shadow holds the experiences, qualities, and memories that need our attention for true healing to occur. These are often parts of us that have carried unhealed wounds or aspects that we have yet to integrate into our sense of self. Now, when we think of the shadow, it can be helpful to see it as an unpolished mirror, showing us reflections of ourselves that might feel uncomfortable, nonetheless are valuable. By acknowledging these shadow aspects, we allow ourselves to access parts of our inner world that may hold unexpressed creativity, resilience, 
or wisdom. Fact being, the shadow offers a pathway to growth and transformation. By shining a light on these hidden parts, we're able to reclaim parts of ourselves that may have been buried and even misunderstood. When we bring compassion to our shadow self, we allow for healing to unfold naturally, accepting that these aspects are part of our wholeness. Embracing the shadow self ultimately leads to deeper self-understanding, inner balance, and the potential for transformation. Within the framework of Gene Keys, the shadow self takes a powerful role. Each Gene Key has a shadow aspect that represents a specific pattern or challenge that we may carry. These shadows are not meant to be fixed nor avoided. Instead, they serve as entry points into deeper self-awareness, inviting us to explore the parts of ourselves that we often overlook such as our beliefs, our fears, and our patterns that might be limiting us. Showing these aspects of ourselves also has the potential to transform into powerful gifts. Now, let's think of the shadow as a guide pointing out areas where we may feel stuck or resistant, whether it's through self-doubt, fear, judgment, or other recurring patterns. By exploring these aspects of ourselves within the Gene Keys, we're given a unique opportunity to look at these areas without judgment and to uncover their true nature. For instance, a shadow of compromise might feel limiting or frustrating at first glance. Yet within it lies the potential for the gift of competence, a strength that emerges when we honor the value in our experiences and choose to act from integrity rather than fear. Gene Keys teaches us not to judge the shadow self and that each shadow, when acknowledged and accepted, contains the seed for transformation. The process is like seeing a rough stone that with attention and care reveals the polished gem within, such as a diamond. Now, when we bring awareness to a shadow, we begin to move through it, allowing it to soften and shift. Over time, the shadow reveals its hidden gift, a strength or talent that adds depth to our lives and helps us align with our true purpose. So, within each gene key, we are given an invitation. An invitation to see our shadows not as obstacles, to see our shadows as doorways. By bringing light to these hidden parts of ourselves, we begin to understand the wisdom that they offer, and we open ourselves up to healing, to growth, and to a deeper, more authentic connection 
with who we truly are. Embracing the shadow self is a crucial part of our healing journey because it brings hidden aspects of ourselves into the light, allowing us to acknowledge and accept them rather than avoid or resist them. When we try to deny or ignore these parts, we end up creating inner conflict, a kind of tug of war within ourselves, should we say. This resistance not only keeps us stuck, it can also block us from moving forward, preventing us from truly growing. Our shadow represents the qualities and experiences that we may have tried to suppress or reject. Today, we are going to explore how we can reframe our narratives and see that these aspects don't simply disappear when we ignore them. Instead, they build up over time, often leading to feelings of frustration, feelings of self-judgment, or patterns of behavior that we don't fully understand. This inner conflict can be exhausting and we may manifest this inner conflict as self-sabotage, limiting beliefs, or difficulty in relationships. Essentially, when we deny parts of ourselves, we're denying our wholeness. So, by acknowledging the shadow self, we make room for greater self-compassion and self-understanding. Now, this isn't about indulging or justifying any negative behaviors. It's about giving ourselves permission to recognize that every part of us has a role in our journey. When we bring awareness to the shadow, we stop fighting against ourselves. We start swimming with the current rather than against it. And we begin to see our shadows as messages, as teachers, showing us where we can heal and where we can grow. Embracing the shadow allows us to integrate these parts into our sense of self in a healthy way. We can create a space where all parts of us can coexist, where we don't have the need to hide, resist, or fear certain aspects of who we are. Instead, we learn to work with them. Understanding that by shining light on the shadow, we have the ability to transform it. This process brings us closer to our true selves, leading to a sense of freedom, balance, and inner harmony. In the context of Gene Keys, each shadow is a pathway to its corresponding gift. And by embracing the shadow, we unlock the potential that lies within, moving beyond limitations and stepping into our strengths. Remember that healing the shadow isn't about changing who we are. It's about uncovering our deepest, truest self and allowing each part to contribute to our growth and alignment. 
we can view embracing the shadow as a powerful act of acceptance. By choosing to acknowledge and honor these hidden aspects of ourselves, we can allow for a more complete self-understanding. This process invites us to see ourselves wholly, without judgment or division, creating a deeper sense of inner harmony and peace. By understanding the shadow, we're no longer at odds with ourselves. Instead, we're embracing our full, authentic self. Through honoring the shadow self, we're also creating space for transformation as the shadow is not something fixed or unchangeable. In fact, it holds within it the potential to become one of our greatest gifts. This is at the heart of Gene Keys, that each shadow, when acknowledged and understood, offers the possibility of revealing a gift, a unique strength, a unique insight or talent that was hidden within us. And by honoring the shadow, we are saying yes to growth, inviting these aspects of ourselves to evolve and allowing each part of ourselves to contribute to our healing journey. Through this process, we transform what may have once felt limiting into a source of empowerment, ultimately stepping into our gifts and aligning more fully with our purpose. This part of embracing the shadow is one of courage, compassion, and trust in the journey of self-discovery. Now, let's review by going over some useful steps that one could take in order to recognize, honor, and accept our shadow selves. Now, the first step in working with the shadow self is recognition. Bringing awareness to the parts of ourselves that we've hidden suppressed and or rejected. This process begins with curiosity and a willingness to look inward without judgment and without resistance. Recognition is about acknowledging that these patterns exist not as flaws but as parts of us that are simply seeking attention and understanding. One of the most effective tools for recognition is self-reflection. And journaling can be a powerful way to explore this. Start by setting aside some time to write openly about areas within your life where you may feel stuck reactive or out of alignment ask yourself questions such as what triggers me most in others and why are there patterns or behaviors within myself that i often avoid addressing what emotions do I find most challenging to sit with? And where might they come from? Often, the things we criticize or avoid in others are reflections of our own shadow aspects. For example, if we find ourselves a bit irritated by someone's confidence, it might point to an area where we struggle with our own self-worth or our fear of being seen. 
as you journal, be gentle with yourselves. Allow your thoughts to flow without censoring or analyzing too much. The goal here is not to solve or fix anything. It's to simply bring these patterns into your awareness. Recognition is the foundation for all shadow work. By shining light on these hidden parts of ourselves, we can begin the process of understanding and healing. Now, once we've recognized our shadow patterns, the next step is acceptance. Now this means holding space for these aspects of ourselves without judgment and without criticism. Acceptance doesn't mean that we condone harmful behaviors or that we stay stuck in these unhelpful patterns. Instead, it's about creating a compassionate, non-judgmental space where these parts of us can exist without fear of rejection. When we accept our shadow, we're acknowledging that it's a part of our human experience. These aspects developed for a reason, often as a way to protect us during challenging times. For example, avoidance may have been once a survival mechanism and self-doubt may have kept us cautious when we needed to be. While these patterns might no longer serve us, they still deserve our compassion because they're part of our story. Now, to practice self-acceptance, we can try a few different approaches. Now, let's go over a few of those approaches. One of those is self-compassion. When a shadow aspect of ourself arises, such as fear, anger, or insecurity, take a moment to acknowledge it without judgment. Instead of labeling it as something negative or wishing it away, Say something like this to yourself. It's okay to feel this way. This is a part of me and it's here to show me something valuable. The second practice is visualization. Imagine the shadow as a younger version of yourself or as a misunderstood part of your personality. Picture yourself sitting with this aspect, offering it patience and understanding. What would you say to this part of yourself to reassure it? How might you listen to its needs? All right, now the third practice is affirmation. Use affirmations to create an internal dialogue of acceptance. For example, you might say, I accept all parts of myself, even the ones that I don't fully understand yet. Every part of me has value. Acceptance is about creating a safe internal space where every part of you can begin to soften and reveal their purpose. It's a reminder that you don't need to fix or change yourself overnight. Healing happens when we meet ourselves with kindness and allow our shadow aspects to exist without shame. When we hold space for the shadow, 
we invite it to show us what it needs. And over time, this practice helps us build a sense of trust and wholeness, creating a foundation for deeper transformation. Now, after recognizing and accepting the shadow, the next step is integration. Integration is about finding a place for these aspects within ourselves and understanding how they can be expressed in ways that serve our growth and authenticity. This process transforms what might have felt like a weakness or a limitation into something empowering and valuable. Integration doesn't mean that the shadow disappears. Rather, it becomes a balanced part of who we are. By acknowledging the purpose behind these qualities, we allow them to shift from something reactive or unconscious to something intentional and aligned. Here are some examples of how shadow qualities can be integrated and expressed positively. Perfectionism. The shadow of perfectionism may stem from a fear of failure or judgment. However, when integrated, it can transform into a drive for excellence. Instead of being paralyzed by the need for things to be flawless, you might use this energy to refine your skills and take pride in doing your best without attaching your worth to the outcome. And then there's anger. The shadow of anger often points to boundaries being crossed or unmet needs. When integrated, anger can become a healthy assertiveness, helping you communicate your needs and protect your energy. It's no longer a reactionary force. It becomes a tool for self-respect and clarity. Another one is self-doubt. Now this shadow might arise as a protective mechanism, keeping you from taking risks. When integrated, it can become discernment, a thoughtful awareness that helps you make grounded decisions rather than rushing into action. Integration is also about learning to express these qualities in a way that feels authentic to you. For example, if you've ever hidden your assertiveness because it felt too aggressive, you might practice using this energy in a way that feels constructive and aligned with your values. Or on another hand, if you've suppressed your creativity out of fear of judgment Integration could mean finding small, safe ways to explore and share your creative side. A key part of integration is understanding that our shadow selves are not our enemies. They're parts of ourselves that have been waiting to be acknowledged and used in healthier ways. By bringing these qualities into balance, we create a fuller, more authentic version of ourselves. Now, this step completes the cycle of transformation. The shadow becomes a gift, and through integration, it finds its rightful place in our lives. It's a reminder that every part of us, when embraced, has the potential 
to contribute to our growth and alignment. As we work through recognizing, accepting, and integrating our shadow self, one thing is essential, self-compassion. Shadow work is not a process that happens overnight. It's a gradual, ongoing journey. And there will be moments when it feels challenging Remember that every step that you take, no matter how small, is a step towards greater self-awareness and wholeness. Now, in order to maintain self-compassion, remind yourself of a few things. It's okay to go slow. Shadow work is not a race some aspects of the shadow may take time to uncover and integrate. Give yourself permission to move at a pace that feels right for you. Show yourself some grace. Second, know that you are not alone in this. Everyone has a shadow and everyone's journey within it is entirely different and unique to them. The discomfort or resistance that you feel is a part of the process and a sign that you're doing meaningful work. Lastly, know that mistakes are part of growth. Shadow work isn't about perfection, it's about progress. If you find yourself slipping into old patterns, use it as an opportunity to practice self-awareness and compassion rather than self-criticism. Here are some practical ways to stay compassionate as you emerge into shadow work. The first one is to practice mindful affirmations. Remind yourself that you are a work in progress. Consider the affirmations that we explored earlier in this podcast, such as, I honor all parts of myself, even those I am still learning to understand. Affirmations such as this can help keep you grounded in kindness. The second one is celebrating the small wins. Acknowledge the moments when you recognize the shadow or have taken a step towards integration. No matter how small it feels, progress is worth celebrating. And the third one, create space for rest. Shadow work can be emotionally intense So give yourself time to rest and recharge. Self-care is an important part of this process, whether it's taking a walk, meditating, or doing something that you love. And always remember that shadow work is not about fixing yourself. It's about embracing every part of who you are with openness and with grace. By treating yourself with compassion, you create a safe space for healing to unfold naturally. Now, as you continue this journey, trust in your own timing and in your own ability to grow. The work that you're doing is courageous and transformative. And with patience and with kindness, you'll start to discover the strength and the gifts that lie within your shadow self. Now, here's a personal example. Within my own journey, I've encountered my shadow self in many ways. 
often tied to deep patterns of people pleasing and a fear of being misunderstood. For a long time, I felt this overwhelming need to prioritize others' needs above my own, convincing myself that if I could just keep everyone happy, I'd find peace within myself. However, over time, this shadow aspect of codependence began to reveal itself. I was giving so much of myself away that I barely had the energy or the space to care for my own well-being. Now, initially, I resisted seeing this pattern as a shadow. I justified it as being selfless, as doing what was necessary. The more I ignored it, the more exhausted and disconnected I became, to the point where I felt completely depleted. I found myself trapped in a loop of giving and resenting, unable to break free. The turning point came when I allowed myself to sit with the discomfort of this shadow. Through self-reflection and compassion, I began to see that this tendency of people-pleasing wasn't a negative aspect of myself. It had been a way of seeking connection and avoiding rejection, especially in my relationships. It isn't a flaw, and it never was. It was simply a coping mechanism born from past experiences. By accepting this shadow, I could finally release the judgment that I had placed on myself for feeling this way. As I work to integrate this part of me, I have been finding new ways to express it. Instead of seeing my desire to help others as something that drains me, I have learned to channel it through healthy boundaries. I began to balance giving with receiving ensuring that I wasn't neglecting my own needs. This shift allowed me to reclaim my energy and recognize that true connection starts with honoring myself. This process also brought me back to my love for music and creativity passions that had been buried under the weight of these patterns. By embracing my shadow, I created space for these gifts to come back forward, aligning me more deeply with my purpose as a conduit for others' healing, while making sure that it is not at the expense of my own well-being. Now this journey has taught me that the shadow isn't something to fear. It's a teacher pointing us towards the parts of ourselves that need care and understanding. By facing it with compassion, I was able to transform what once felt like a limitation into a source of strength and alignment. Now, Gene Keys played a pivotal role in helping me understand and transform this shadow aspect of myself.
through my activation sequence, I began to see how the shadows that I carried, they weren't failures and they weren't weaknesses. They were signposts pointing to areas where healing and growth were needed. For example, Gene Key 14. With its shadow of compromise, this gene helped me realize how often I sacrificed my own needs in order to keep the peace or to meet the expectation of others. It revealed how this pattern stemmed from a fear of standing out or being seen for who I truly was. By working with this shadow, I began to shift into the gift of competence, learning to trust in my abilities and to prioritize myself in ways that felt empowering, not selfish. Then there's Gene Key 59 with its shadow of dishonesty, reflecting the ways that I had hidden parts of myself avoiding vulnerability in relationships. This helped me see that my people-pleasing tendencies were a form of emotional dishonesty, not just with others, within myself. By stepping into the gift of intimacy, it has taught me the value of authentic connection, starting with an honest relationship within myself. Lastly, Gene Key 55, with its shadow of victimization. Now this Gene Key illuminated how my people-pleasing behaviors left me feeling trapped in circumstances that I believed were beyond my control. This shadow helped me see that I had the power to reclaim my energy and I had the power to create healthy boundaries, leading me to the gift of freedom where I could live in alignment with my own values and with my own needs. Through these gene keys, I was able to see my people pleasing not as a flaw, but as a learned pattern that could be transformed. This perspective helped me approach the shadow with compassion, allowing me to reclaim my energy set healthy boundaries, and rediscover my authentic self. By integrating these insights, I've been able to turn what once felt like a limitation into a source of personal strength and alignment. Now, in conclusion, the process of recognizing, accepting, and integrating my shadow self has profoundly transformed not only how I see myself, it has also transformed how I approach life. Working through the shadow of people pleasing revealed how much energy I had been pouring outward, leaving very little for my own growth and my own well-being. By facing this pattern and exploring it through the lens of gene keys, I was able to release the judgment that I had placed on myself and instead approach these aspects with compassion and understanding. This work has brought incredible clarity to my healing journey. 
by learning to set healthy boundaries and honor my needs, I found a deeper sense of balance and authenticity. No longer bound by the fear of rejection or the pressure to conform. I've begun to rediscover my own ability to create, to connect, and to lead from a place of alignment. What's been truly transformative is how this process has allowed me to reclaim my own power. That power in which I was apprehensive to own. Now, instead of viewing my shadows as obstacles, I now see them as doorways. Opportunities to uncover strengths, rediscover passions, and align more fully with my purpose. Through this integration, I started to move from a place of survival to one of thriving, where I'm no longer defined by these old patterns. I am now empowered by the gifts that they have revealed. The journey is not just unique to me. It's available for everyone, even you. When we choose to face our shadows with compassion, we open ourselves to a deeper level of healing and alignment. Remember that each shadow holds the potential to guide us back to our true selves, unlocking a life that feels authentic, empowered, and free. By embracing the shadow, we have the ability to create space for transformation, allowing all parts of us to work together in harmony as we are the creators of our unique realities. Now, before we close out today's episode, I'd like to leave you with some questions to reflect on. These are designed to help you connect with your own shadow self and explore how this journey of self-discovery might unfold for you. Feel free to journal your thoughts, sit with these questions in meditation, or simply let them simmer in the back of your mind. All right, let's dive in. The first question is, are there qualities or patterns that you resist acknowledging within yourself? Think about the parts of yourself that feel tricky to face what might these hidden aspects be trying to teach you and why might they feel so challenging to acknowledge the next one is how might your healing journey be different if you allowed yourself to see and accept these parts of yourself imagine what it would feel like to approach your shadow self with compassion instead of judgment? How might this perspective open new possibilities for growth and healing? The next one is what gifts could emerge from embracing your shadow aspects with compassion? Every shadow holds the seed of a gift. What strengths insights or talents might be waiting to emerge once you give these parts of yourself the space to transform all right the next one is what triggers or challenges do you encounter repeatedly 
and could they be pointing to shadow aspects that need your attention? Let's use this time to reflect on the patterns within your life that seem to keep showing up. Could these be clues inviting you to explore and heal the unresolved aspects of your shadow self? The next one is when was the last time that you felt fully seen and accepted? by yourself or by someone else. Think about a moment when you experienced true acceptance. What would it look like to bring the same unconditional energy to your shadow self? And lastly, how might embracing your shadow change the way that you show up in your relationships and in the world? Consider how greater self-acceptance could shift the way that you connect with others and express yourself. How might this ripple outward into your relationships, your purpose, and into your life? Now take a moment to sit with these questions. Remember that there's no rush to find the answers right away. This is your journey and it unfolds in its own time. Trust that each insight, no matter how small, is a step towards greater alignment and wholeness. As we prepare to close this sacred circle, I invite you to take a moment to reconnect with your breath and ground yourself in this space. Gently close your eyes if you can, or simply soften your gaze and take a deep breath in. With each exhale, release any tension or resistance, letting it flow out of your body. Now imagine a warm, gentle light surrounding you. A light that represents the wholeness of who you are. This light embraces every part of you. The gifts that you readily show to the world, the parts of you that you're still exploring, and even the shadows that you've worked to keep hidden. This light reminds you that all of these aspects make up the beautifully complex being that you are. As you sit with this light, allow yourself to gently acknowledge your shadow self. The parts of you that have been waiting to be seen and understood. There's no need to fix or change anything right now. Simply hold space for these aspects, honoring them as important pieces of your journey. Now, set an intention for yourself. It might be to explore these shadows further, to approach them with compassion, or simply to allow them to be without judgment. Whatever feels right for you in this moment, let that intention settle within your heart. Take one more deep breath in.
wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. As we close this circle, I'd like to leave you with this affirmation. You can say this out loud to yourself, or you can just listen or say it in your head. I honor all parts of myself. The light and the shadow. Each aspect of me holds wisdom and purpose. By embracing my wholeness, I step into healing, alignment, and authenticity. Thank you for joining me in this sacred space today. Remember, your journey is uniquely yours. And every step that you take forward towards self-discovery is a step towards greater healing and freedom. Until next time, may you move forward with compassion, curiosity, and a deep trust in the beautiful being that you are.